Good Saturday morning, everybody. It's Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic, and unfortunately, the uh, the, the bearer of bad news. If you haven't heard, uh, June Foray, the uh, the voice of Witch Hazel in this cartoon, at the age of ninety nine, has recently passed away. And uh, so we're doing this cartoon. This is not the first Chuck Jones directed Witch Hazel cartoon. But it is the first one that June Foray did the voice. And um, it's, um, it's interesting because June Foray, I mean, she, she, this character and uh, her other character, the one she's more known for at Warner Brothers, Granny, they have a lot in common because um, June for it. I love her cat. I'm so sorry about that. I love the way her cat moves and how the cat is always in permanent hiss mode. But um, this character uh, and uh, Granny have a lot in co- have something in common in the way that um, June is is definitely the the de- definitive voice of that character and of Granny. But she did not originate it. It was ori- this voice and Granny were both originated by B. Benaderet. And the story goes that um, Chuck Jones did want her for the first Witch Hazel cartoon, which was Bewitched Bunny. But the reason it didn't happen was he flat out asked her to do the voice that she did for the other witch hazel character which was a which was for a disney thing um and she initially refused she was worried that it would it would bother the the execs over at disney and would maybe put her in danger of losing future jobs basically you don't want to offend the mouse you know, you eventually end up working for the mouse. That's something I learned, by the way, when I when I lived in Orlando. <laughs> so, um, so he kind of had to. Jones, I semi reluctantly used B. Benaderet, and I don't want to impugn the nature of what B. Benaderet did, but uh, <laughs> I love the way she moves in this cartoon. I look. I'm really glad that it was this cartoon because. Look at look at her head, the way it goes into her her hat like that. The way her shoes are so tiny. There's so much this was at a point when Jones and Maurice Noble were at the height of their experimentation and would do things that even though, you know, it was solid and, and the you believed that you were in this little house and everything, you could do these two-dimensional tricks, you know, things like running out of the fl- frame with leaving the, uh, <laughs> the floating hairpins and the spray-painted backgrounds on solid things. And, um, you know, her feet are these teeny tiny things that could never support that body. And, that, and the biggest thing is that forehead, that hat going on her and going into that hat because her head would literally have to be cut straight in half in order to get underneath that hat but it's really just a design choice and um (laughs) she's so funny so yeah i'm really glad that because uh you know i'm glad it was this cartoon that i got to do the commentary for in honor of uh, june um this uh this layout right here i love this although he does kind of explain the head theory a little better in that in the, in that there's you actually do see a curve to her head there very very rare in this cartoon is that there you go right back to uh the slicey oh my god that cackling she was so good june <laughs> and I like this joke here too, where she uh, she gets knocked off. Me. That was my sweeping broom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And then, um, and also, I like the the theory of Bugs's legs there. How he's in costume as 
witch hazel basically he has to look like her so they made his legs look all you know i don't know what he's supposed to be doing but they designed his legs to be all skinny and bony like that but it is not to be ladies and gentlemen because that's it for bugs's legs speaking of legs look at the way she's i just love this cartoon everything is um it's 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 as experimental as as uh, jones ever got and um he could still go back to his roots though his his disney-esque influence and tug on your heartstrings he can do that he can do disney he can do the big bambi eyes what's the matter dearie <laughs> Oh, man, it's so natural, the way she performs it. So it's not really known if her pet tarantula, Paul, here is, uh, if he died naturally. Also, it's not really known if Bugs knew that this, uh, this, uh, this tea was potioned or if he was just offering it to her because he's a good guy. Another interesting thing to note, according to Chuck Jones, when she turns beautiful here, on the wall. Who's the other? still doing the voice, uh, that is apparently a caricature. This is according to Looney Wiki, uh, Wikipedia, whatever it is, Looney, Looney Tunes Wiki. Uh, apparently, this is a this was a uh, caricature or a caricature, however you say it, um, of June at the time. So, once again, this cartoon could not have been a better fitting tribute uh, as a commentary to do for the late, great, and wonderful June Foray. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> 